Hi everyone, it's Kristen. I'm here with another garden update. As you know, I went to battle with the neem oil last night and it really seems to have helped. I'm not noticing any additional total decimation of the crops, so thank you very much for all of your tips and tricks, especially you, Jill. Really appreciate it. Um, I did go out and pick up some extra special fertilizer for some tomato plants and I'll probably be putting that on after dinner. I just got out of work so I just wanted to run out to the garden real quick, see what's going on, do a quick video update, and then I'll come back out and take care of all of that stuff afterwards. So I'm gonna just quickly take a look and see what the damage is on the rest of the crops and flip the camera around and show you. So these were some of the zucchini plants that were eaten yesterday. You can see got a little bit of eatery going on there with that leaf. And this one in particular was just ravaged. So I hit the neem oil on that, made sure to do to go back and do the underside of the leaves as well. This is another one that just they had a field day. They had a good lunch and I hope they enjoyed it because they're not gonna have another one for a while. I'm not messing around with these bugs. I wanna be able to enjoy the harvest. The good news is we do have new leaves sprouting so things are looking good there. Let's see what else. We have the squash. They were attacked yesterday as well. Some worse than others. This one in particular and the one next to it. All in all, it certainly could have been a lot worse. Um, I'm just glad that I went out and did what I did last night. I picked up actually more neem oil today because I was getting really low and didn't want to run out. Other exciting news is we have a big fat pea pod and I think this one looks like it's pretty ready to be harvested. So um, I'm going to give it one more day. I did plant two different types of beans. One was a progress number nine and the other one was a sugar snap. Now because they're kind of all mixed together, I'm not sure which is which, I'll be completely honest, but it's okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. The lettuce is looking fantastic in this row and in this row. My romaine is not doing very well. Um, I haven't planted any more, but I'm probably going to pick up some seeds to do that. Everything else is looking pretty well, except for my poor little peppers. They're just not doing well. So I'm going to hope that I'm not even sure what to do with them at this point. If you have any tips on how to save the peppers, please let me know. There's only four plants. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure what more I can do for them. I know they like the heat and unfortunately, we're not getting a lot of heat. You know, it's only 70 degrees today. It's been quite cool uh, at night going down into the 40s. We're just not getting the heat that these peppers need. So maybe it's a lost cause, I'm not sure. The cucumbers, they are doing pretty well and getting some new growth. We got a little bit of vine action on this one, so I'll be steering that towards the trellis so it can vine up. Um, tomatoes are still looking great. And that <laughs> the cauliflower is hanging in there for for whatever reason, it, it isn't going to quit, so I appreciate that little cauliflower. I won't quit on you either. So anyway, I am going to head in, have some dinner. It's been a long day. Everything else is looking pretty good. Thank you for the suggestion, Jill, on the tomato plant. That is looking much better today. There's definitely a lot more air circulation happening. And lettuce in the raised bed is all coming up, so that's pretty exciting. It's doing really well. 
nothing looks too terribly dry tonight so because we had a fair amount of rain over two days i'm gonna skip watering tonight hasn't been super hot i don't think they need it so all in all everything's looking good and hope everybody else is doing well and happy gardening